Well, I'm starting a new project here, and it's one that I did about three years ago, and it's a curved block, block front uh, low boy or dressing table. So the first thing I did was uh, pull out all the templates and uh, literature that I had on it from the last time. And uh, I did uh, keep the drawings, although, and I have them also in, uh, in PDF format if I hadn't been able to find them. So uh, the last time I did it, it was in mahogany. This time I'm gonna do it in cherry. So to start with, we have uh, one large cherry, 12 quarter cherry board here that I'm gonna cut uh, to uh, 32 inches, which is the uh, leg length plus uh, an extra two for the uh, knee block return. So um, that's where we begin. So I need some two and seven eighths inch uh, square stock. Well, I've started to work on the uh, cabriolet legs here for the uh, curved block front low boy. And um, as you can see here, we'll zoom in a little bit. The grain on this particular 12 quarter stock that I have is running pretty well uh, quarter sawn straight across. And uh, that doesn't particularly uh, make a real nice cabriolet leg. So we're trying to improve that. Uh, by uh, reforming, uh, trying to get a radial cut to the uh, grain. So what I did is I made a little window here that the outside dimension is uh, what I need, two and three quarters inches, and it allows me to uh, turn it on here and find the best grain that I can make uh, out of uh, this, it's almost three inches thick stock so here's one that I did and uh, this is a pattern for the cabriolet leg and it fits there we really only need two and five eighths but uh, uh, I'm cutting the squares to two and three quarters this is the other half over here and as you can see I've got a lot of straightening out to do with that so I do it with the a bandsaw and get one straight face and then uh, bring the other two faces uh, parallel uh, perpendicular first of all and then parallel to each other uh, to end up with so we got three more to do well the legs are all squared up here and you can see I marked out the front and the back legs and the point at which I want the uh, front of each of the legs to be uh, as appropriate uh, for the grain and then uh, trace the uh, leg template uh, onto adjacent sides on the back here. So we're ready to turn the pad feet. Well, there you have it. The, the pad, which is two and a quarter, and then the pill, which is an inch and a half. So it's turned on to the end of the cabriolet legs here. So once you have all all four of them turned and we're ready for the next step to saw them out. There they are, the uh, four pad feet, uh, now ready to saw out the cabriolet leg. After cutting out one side, I've taped it back together and now I've got to cut out the other side. Well, my grain planning uh, worked out pretty well. These are uh, the ones in front here are our two front legs and the ones over on the side there are the two rear legs. So the next thing to do is, uh, since I know how the legs are gonna face, is to lay out the mortises.
Well, I squared up the end stock here uh, with the bandsaw, and then I laid out the uh, mortises that are to be cut uh, for the uh, side and back, and of course, there's only a single one uh, for the front here. So the next step is to use the hollow chisel mortiser.